What's up, old school homies? Let's talk about could you have been a pro skater in the 80s and 90s if you're a great skater today? I see this as a topic that people bring up all the time. And it's kind of funny. I could see where they're going with it in a few different directions. Like, you could be nice about it and talk about the progression that has happened and whatever. But usually people are trying to make a direct comparison to how bad skaters sucked in the past. <laughs> and it's just not true. Uh, if you were a pro at any point in time, you earned it. It wasn't given away very easily, and it still isn't. Just because there was less skaters in the population back in the 80s and 90s doesn't mean that it was any easier to fight off the competition. There were certain superstars that were so good they're still superstars today, like Tony Hawk or Rodney Mullen. They're still pro today, so... Being pro for 40 or 50 years actually means a lot more than being a pro for 3 or 4 years, which is more common. Furthermore, you didn't develop any of the tricks. Those guys were developing tricks as you watched them develop them. And all of those video parts, those were the first times that you were seeing any of those tricks come out. All throughout the 90s, new tricks were coming out. I mean, not... Like, they were barely coming out, but they were coming out on film. Like, each trick had a glorified moment, and then the trick became popular. But as far as tricks being popular in the 90s, we barely got to the kickflip at that point. So, to be a great skater didn't even require that you knew kickflips. It required that you could do handrails or something else really wild that didn't require you to do a kickflip. Tony Hawk doesn't even do kickflips very often. It's just not common. I didn't do kickflips either. I was one of those true skaters that was like, that's just technical, you know? And technical wasn't cool yet in the 90s. To be honest, like, they tried to bring technical into the light in the 90s and it died out. So everybody <laughs> who tries to say we're so technical now, yeah, we were technical then too and we threw it away. We would like to see larger gaps and bigger handrails. And anybody who does just only technical, you better be riding your day one. You know, that's it. There's not very many pros that it requires for certain categories. We don't need a lot of technical pro skaters. We need some big gap skaters, and we need some long handrail skaters, and uh, that's about it. Because, to be honest, everything's already been done on ledges, and now it's all being done on handrails. So, stepping up to the game means that uh, you really don't want to. You want to compare yourselves to how easy it was to be a pro in the 80s or 90s, but once again, those guys did not just publicize their tricks until they put it out in a video part and by then you're already behind you're catching up to them there's people that were really developing tricks and all that switch stance technical stuff a long time ago you're not doing anything new and you weren't as good as uh any of those pros that faded away like richard Mulder or james craig who were super technical but, really, not popular.